Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So this is the hidden side of Justin Bieber. So the first thing we're going to do is pull a card, an oracle card here on his overall, you know, personality, whatever the card wants to tell us about his overall. All right. Okay. So we have feud. That's an interesting card for his overall, but not surprising because we know that he's, you know, kind of a bad boy. And feud is a conflict, grudge, hostility, and rivalry. And I get that very strongly for him. You know, he's just a, he's a rebel. He's a bad boy. You know, he doesn't, he can be very confrontational. Okay. So we've got the overall, which is feud. Now let's get into the reading. Let's first talk about his finances. Now I've said in other readings time and time again that um, they're not great, okay? So let's see what the cards wanna tell us. Oh, okay. All right, so we have a couple of money cards. We have entry level, which we know he's not at. And we have multitasking. Okay. So we know that Justin is someone who's been out in the limelight in the music world for a long time. He, he's been around for a long time. But I get entry level in that the meaning is that he's going to have to start all over. He's going to have to do things differently. And it's going to take a lot of work. He's going to have to multitask, which I don't see him wanting to do. Okay. It's like he's, the cards are saying he has to reinvent himself if he wants to have continued success, but I don't see him doing that. Okay. Let's get a few cards just on money and see what the cards want to tell us in terms of money finances. Okay. Okay. So we have the six of swords. Okay. This is about healing, moving on progress. All right. And so what I get is let, let's clarify that. Let's pull another card and clarify that. Okay. Judgment and judgment is, you know, evaluate self-evaluation. Now the cards are saying the cards are somewhat being funny because, you know, he's going to have to do a self-evaluation, which he is not willing to do as it relates to just his career, his life in general. This person is not willing to look at themselves. So he's not going to do any self-evaluation. He thinks he's just fine. It's everybody else. That's the problem. But Justin is great. So with that attitude, I get that, you know, he's going to have to, he's going to have to move on from his world that he, he once knew the teeny bopper screaming that's over. <clears throat> Excuse me. So his finances are, I mean, I've said it before. I'll say it again. They're not good. They're not good. Okay. Um, Let's pull an oracle, pull a couple oracles on finances just to see if there's anything else that the cards want to tell us. Okay. Beach. And this is, this is interesting because what that beach card tells me is that he thinks everything is just life is a beach. Life is fun. Life is great. I don't have to do anything. Even I don't, if I don't look at my bank account, I won't know that I'm going to be having issues with, um, paying for things in the very near future, because that's what my bank account is telling me. Okay. Let's move on to family. Okay. Let's move on to family. And this will be uh, family as it relates to Justin and his wife and new baby but mainly his wife, because, you know, this is an infant and right now they have a little infant. So the baby 
as far as uh, interaction, you know, is not going to uh, really enter the picture. So it's more about, you know, the baby being able to, it would be a child is what I'm saying. It would have to be a child to really pick up anything. But an infant is just in a crib, you know, doing what it does. Okay, so we have the magician. And the magician is about creativity, action, power, performance, skill, magic. Okay, let's clarify that. Okay, with justice. <sighs> okay, what I get is um, there will be a lot of legal issues. I say this about a lot of these celebrities because celebrities in general get sued for different things. And remember, his car, his overall is feud, rivalry in your face. And I see that even though we're going back to finance real quick, we'll, we'll get back to family. But I see that, you know, people that he's had interactions with negatively, he is, you know, have, has rivalries and they're going to rival right into court and they're going to take some of his money. And um, he's going to need a magician to help him. And what I get is those situations he finds himself in, in terms of money, um, well, his attorneys will help stop the, uh, loss of money, but not to the degree he would like. He's going to lose a lot of money is the point. And so that has an overall effect on this marriage, this, these rivalries that he finds himself in, you know, it strains the marriage in the worst possible way. Okay, let's get another card, couple cards and then we'll move on because family really just wants to talk about money again. I don't get that his family life is all that great. Okay, so now we have the four of swords. And the four of swords is just, I, I you know, it, it's relaxing. It's, it's not relaxing, it's, but it's, it's taking a step back. Okay. It's just, um, they're retreating. They are resting to a certain extent, but you know, not resting in a good way, even though you should, as it relates to that card, you should rest. So he's just strategizing his family life. Isn't good. It isn't horrible. But I don't see a lot of love there. But uh, I see the baby has brought a certain amount of love in the household. But for him, it's going to quickly turn to dislike because all of the attention is gone from him. And that will start to have him acting out. It, it, believe it or not, having a, this man having a child is going to make everything worse. But the baby will have a happy life. Okay. So, you know, we'll leave that there with family. It's it just, there's a new baby in the household. Let's get a card on his interactions with that new baby. Okay, let's, oh. Ugh. Okay, I see these on the bottom of the card and I'm going to take them because it definitely, I just feel the energy. And we have, we have the tower and we have the Ten of Swords as it relates to him and this child. Now, it, he loves this baby, but there is serious issues. It keeps him up at night for all kinds of reasons. Jealousy, tiring of the baby crying, and that brings in the tower and that just, that worsens him. There's something within him where this child is going to have a very, I already said it, a very adverse effect on him. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to love. Now this, we want to know about Justin and his relationship with his wife, Haley. That's what we want. We want to get a couple cards on that, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have uh, 
the Knight of Pentacles, practical, loyal, responsible. Okay, and let's get one more. All right, and then we have Page of Wands, good news, um, swift news, letters, phone calls. Um, well, we've got a page and a knight, and they're not at that level of maturity. I get that, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is just about routine, the same old, same old, which he is frequently bored of in this relationship. And the Page of Wands is just somebody who wants to write their own story. They want to tell their story is what I get from this card, interestingly enough. Let's pull one more card on this marriage really doesn't want to say much because there's not much going on, but it's not, it's a loveless marriage. It's not a good marriage. It's not a happy marriage, even though, and it, it never will be. Okay. So we have the queen of swords. Now I see that as Haley. I see that as Haley changing what started out at the initial phase of the relationship, the very beginning, it was very loving, very sweet, very whirlwind. And then they got into the marriage and it just changed everything. And then Justin started to get older and mature and, you know, not really see a lot of ah screaming girls type thing. And that has affected him and it will continue to affect him. The marriage is loveless. It's, it's, there's just not a lot of love in this marriage. And the baby coming in, once again, I keep stressing, is not going to, um, you know, give them what they need. Okay, let's pull a couple of love cards. Let's just get a couple of love cards and close out love. Okay, so we have release your ex. And then we have that one flipped out. So I'm going to take it. Is it true? Yeah, they do need to release each other. <laughs> it's not about an ex. It's about the, the time has come to clear your energy. It's about both of them releasing each other because it's going to get ugly. Is it true? Okay. I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Okay. And so, you know, we get these rumors of, I mean, Justin is going to act out in all kinds of ways moving forward. It's not going to change, you know, uh, having extramarital affairs, just, it's going to go downhill. Okay. And, and that's the only way to describe it. And that's unfortunate. Let's move on to his career. All right. Let's get some cards on his career. We'll pull a career card. And we'll see what the cards want to tell us as it relates to his career. And then we'll pull some, um, some other cards to close out the read. Okay. We have new assets, which is going to be a problem because this person is going to spend lavishly as well, which is going to continue to contribute his career. However, <laughs> let's pull some, or let's pull one tarot card on career. Okay. And then we'll get some oracles to see what else the cards want to tell us. Okay. Career is the king of swords. I get that as a person who is trying to outside of J Justin and Haley, uh, who is trying to get him Justin, to see things differently as it relates to his career. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to do that. Somebody is logical because that's what the king of swords is. They use their intellect. They use their mind to um, come up with good decisions. Okay, so career-wise, we have elusive, dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Okay. And then we have shallow, hollow, empty, boredom. And that's how he feels. He's a, you know, a shallow person is what I get. 
and, and success is elusive to him right now, okay? Loyalty. He's looking for loyalty because he feels he doesn't have it right now in his relationship, which he, oh, that just fell out, because he wants loyalty within someone, but he's not getting it. What's this last card that flipped out? Okay, finality. Farewell, leave behind enclosure. Now, this is a good card to close with because it's the finality of just about everything for him. A full stuffed bank account, lots of money. That's final. That's over. A good marriage. That's been over for a while. A great career. That's really been over for a while. Um, but it, we're going to see it start to go downhill. It's, you know, the finality of many things in his life because he didn't think he was not forward thinking. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. As always, you do take good care and we'll talk soon. Bye.